Charles Proxy for Mobile, Android Edition. Before starting, please make sure of the following. Both your computer and your mobile device are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Ensure that no VPNs are active. Ensure that Charles Proxy is set up correctly and running on your computer. Please watch the desktop video for Charles Proxy from the last course if you are unsure. First, open Charles Proxy on your computer. Click on the Help menu and select Local IP Address. Record the IP address for your active network. Click on the Proxy menu and select Proxy Settings. Ensure the port for the HTTP proxy is 8888. Now, let's connect our Android device with Charles Proxy. On the Android device, open Wi-Fi settings and select the Wi-Fi network you're connected to. Open advanced options for the Wi-Fi network and change the proxy setting to manual. Type the computer IP address you recorded in the previous step in the proxy host field. Type the port number 8888. Save the proxy settings. You will notice a request to allow the connection inside Charles Proxy. You must allow the request in order for this to function properly. Next, we need to install the Charles root certificate on the Android device. On your Android device, using any browser, navigate to http colon slash slash chls dot pro slash ssl authenticate and provide any certificate name make sure vpn and apps is selected and then tap on ok for android 11 and newer devices you will need to manually install the downloaded certificate to do that Open the Settings app, open Security, then navigate to Encryption and Credentials. Select Install a Certificate, then choose CA Certificate. Accept the warning alert by selecting Install Anyway. Authenticate the device lock if prompted. Browse to find the certificate file on the device, then tap it. Back in Charles Proxy in your computer, click on Proxy and turn off Windows Proxy if you're using Windows, or turn off Mac OS Proxy if you're using Mac OS. Please note, doing this will not collect your computer's traffic. You should turn it back on when collecting logs from your computer. Next, clear out any stored logs by clicking on the Trash button. Then, make sure Recording Logs is turned on. On your Android device, open the browser or app and reproduce the bug starting from loading the home page or opening the app. Once done, click on File and select Save Session. Then save the log as a .chls format. <laughs>